Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Kingdom Kids. My name is Miss Somi, and today we have an interesting topic for you. But before we begin, you and I know what we have to do. We have to pray. So join me as we bow our heads down in prayer, as also we close our eyes and say, In Jesus' name, Lord God, we thank you so much for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for your gifts. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your love. We do ask, O oh God, that you continue to increase our knowledge and our understanding in you as we study your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. So today's topic would be on something very popular. And I need you to guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? All right. So it is... The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments is something that is quite interesting. Am I right? In this video, in the month of April, we will be talking on that topic. But for the specific video, I will be talking on just the five first commandments. All right? Are you guys excited? Now, before I begin talking about the five commandments, I would like for you, after this video, to reference Exodus 20 verses 1 through 12. Exodus 20 verses 1 through 12. And just, you can read it with your parents or with anyone who is older than you and can guide you through the readings, okay? All right. And so, the first commandment is that you shall have no other God but me. And the word me is God. You shall have no other God but God Almighty who is in heaven, who is our Abba Father, and who loves us so much. And some things in the world can act as a God, like a small God. Like maybe uh, video games. Let's say you're playing more video games and you love video games more than you love God. Then you might be going against the first commandment. So you should enjoy praying with God, to God. You should enjoy praising God. You should enjoy reading your Bibles more than you should like playing video games. And that's just an example. Now, the second commandment is that you should not make for yourselves a carved image. Now, I know that may be a little confusing. What does a carved image mean? Well, let me, ins let me give you a story. In the story, there was a man in the Bible. His name is Moses. Moses was the leader of a nation called the Israelites, Israel. And so Moses, one day, needed to go to the mountains for 40 days and 40 nights. He did not eat and he did not drink. And when he went there, he went there to meet with God. Can you imagine having a meeting with God for 40 days? That's quite interesting, right? And so while Moses was there, God gave him the Ten Commandments. And he wrote it down for Moses. And so once Moses was done with his fast, he took the Ten Commandments and went down. But when he went down, he realized that the people of Israel made for themselves a carved image. Because they thought that Moses wasn't coming down. Because they said, 40 days is a long time. Why has he been there for so long? But lo and behold, Moses came down and now he had to face what they made, which was a calved image. And this was like a molded gold. It's like you're molding something with clay, but rather than clay, it's gold. And it looked like a calf. A calf is a baby cow. Okay? And so they worshipped this gold calf. They bowed down to him and they did so many things that they were not supposed to do. Rather than worshipping God, our Almighty Father, they were worshipping something that cannot talk, they cannot speak, they cannot eat, they cannot do anything. And that is bad. So 
So the second commandment, you shall not make for yourselves a carved image, is very, very important. And by that story, that's how this commandment came to be. Now, the third commandment is you shall not take the name of your God, your Lord, in vain. What does that mean? It means that you shall only use the name of your God when it's needed. Do not use it in vain. You can use it to worship God. You can use it to praise the name of the Lord. You can use it to pray to Him. But you should not use it outside the context of glorifying the Lord. And by glorifying the Lord, I mean giving all honor to the Father. Now we have the fourth commandment, which is remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Right. This is quite interesting. You see, the Sabbath day is one of the seven days that we have from Monday to Sunday. And so we should take one of those days to rest, right? And so let's say we take a Saturday. Saturday, we're going to rest. We worked from Sunday all the way to Friday. And so Saturday would be used to rest. Now, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't help anyone on Saturday or we shouldn't assist anyone or we shouldn't give on that day. No, we can do anything that's good on that day. But we should try our most possible best to rest on that day because God loves to give his beloved some rest. All right. And the last commandment that I am very excited to share to you is commandment five, which is honor your father and your mother that your days may be long on the land. Isn't that quite interesting? This commandment is the only commandment that comes with a promise. And the promise is if you honor your parents, then you would have a long life. So imagine leaving 120 years because you honored your parents. And what do I mean by honor? I mean, you should obey your parents, yes. But beyond that, you should also show some love to your parents. Like if it's their birthday, you should say, Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, dad. If um, they got injured, you should care for them. You should show them some love just the same way that they love you. And by your parents, I don't just mean your parents. I mean anyone who is a parent figure to you. Anyone who acts like mom or dad, like your uncle, your auntie, your godmom, your goddad, or anyone that really loves you and is older than you and cares for you, you should honor that person. All right? And that concludes it. Now, from 6 to 10 of the commandments, you should stay tuned for the next video that is coming up. Stay tuned for it in two weeks and it's going to be released. And so your week's assignment is I need you again to reference Exodus 20 verses 1 to 12 and just look through it with your guardian or your parents and let them help you understand the commandments of God. And that is all. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful month in April. Bye-bye.